Hello and welcome to our occasional series on equipment review. Today we're reviewing the bullet belt. I got given these at one of the game conferences in 2012 uh, and it's a handy piece of kit to help sprinting and change the direction. They're made by a company called Fast Start and it's basically a belt system with Velcro attached. The athlete runs with the belt and then the partner is either doing a resisted toe or can um, pop it. So what I'll do is I'll just take you through the benefits of it and then we'll go through some drills about how to use it later. So each belt comes in a waterproof bag here. This is like they're lightweight. I've carried them on the plane before so they're not heavy. That's a good thing about it. And you get three pieces of kit. Now I'm having Will with his back to me obviously for Covid regulations so he's not risk of contaminating. The belt is adjustable in size and it's got a plastic clip there. Then you've got this actual tail thing here, Velcro tail, that's the second part. And then the third part is the rip mechanism here. And how we'll just show a quick way of uh, working here. It comes with a handle and this wire release. Take a step forward, please, Will. Forward, that's it. Right, so on this one, so you just make sure already that I get this length right here. And on this one, Will's just gonna run forward a little bit and you'll see the rip mechanism, go. One, two, three. So as you see, I rip there, then the resistance goes. So that's, that's the nub of it, really. That's the essential part of it. And when, the reason um, I got one of these, now one's not very good, because unless you're working on an individual athlete, you can only have two. I'd, I'd, our athletes like using these with partners. So I, I got given some more and I bought some more. On here, is a graded number system so we can change resistance it, the numbers don't mean anything they're just distances okay so then I can have less or more and this is handy for when you're using uh, working with young athletes you can say what resistance was it on last time that was a 10 so now I'm going to put it on a 5 wheel so I put half the resistance on okay that it was last time and now I'm just going to not I'm going to avoid the rip mechanism Okay, I've got, I've got a five on there, and Will should, with a five, be able to run and go. Okay, go. So he's got a little tug himself. So that one was, he did that. That was good one there. Okay, so that's a standard bullet belt. So there's two other variants I've got. The super wide one. So this creates a lot more for, for bigger players. If you've got, like, players 100 kilos or something like that, you want to put this big Velcro on. And then that creates more surface area, as you can see I'm straight here, and that creates a lot stronger or a lot more resistance to the tug. Okay, so it's not very long, same length, but just twice the width or even more than twice the width compared to uh, this one. Let's go up to the camera. In fact, I think it's probably three times the width here. I'm already struggling to get the Velcro off here. So that's good for the big men. Uh, yeah, probably about twice, twice the width there. And then the third variant we've got it's a super long variant, as you can see here. Standard belt is this long, but it's that long there. That gives you a bit more distance between you and the athlete, but it also allows a longer rip as well, so they've got more time to pull away. So that's a, another variant. But the next set, uh, sequence we'll do is we'll show you how to use the standard one, and then you can just adapt to the wider one or the longer one. So my overall thinking about the bullet belt, it's portable, which is always good. They like using it, and once you've set up, you've got two, two players, one can pull, one can resist, and then they can swap over. They always like using it. And it does give them an idea about that initial acceleration, because most runners, Will, can you just start a run, please? Run towards the cone. They start a bit slow and then start accelerating, the reason I like the bullet belt, it really gives them a good feel of that first or second push. Because if they don't push in that first or second step, they're not going anywhere. So it's, it's a good cue and a, a teaching tool for that. So in my mind, the bullet belt gets a double thumbs up.